Now one thing's for sure is this thing is a heck of a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, as you can see it's almost as wide as my table is. And you can see I'm holding my hand up to it here. But let me turn it around. Not only because it was inter interesting, but 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 here. Nap Monarch Nap Monarch Division, the Hoover Company. So this was actually made by Hoover. But it's quite an interesting heater. You can see the elements in it aren't really elements. They're more of the type of element that is in a like a radiant baseboard heater. So, but it has high and low fan settings, high and low heat settings, and temperature control. So, and... <laughs> One thing I thought was kind of interesting, if you can see the whole inside of it, including the fan, is painted red. So, I don't know how old this is. It looks like it could be from the 50s, but it might be older. I don't know. I wouldn't think it was any newer than that. But, let's plug it in here and we'll check it out. Okay, so we got it plugged in now, and let's get a little bit of light, and we'll turn it on. Fan blade seems like it's a little bit loose. I think the, the thermostat isn't quite right because it's not 40 degrees in here. But it is warming up. Turn on the high heat. And the fan slows down a little bit. And high fan speed. Noisy little sucker, isn't it? Probably doesn't help if the blade's loose, but it's it doesn't really put out that much heat. Um, I'm not sure what the low setting is, how much output it is, but I believe it's a 1650 watt heater. Um, but it's kind of more like a gentle heat. Like you can touch the front of it here and it's not really heating up that much. Um, I guess it's supposed to, looks like it's supposed to look like an old time gas space heater, really. And it's got little feet on it, pulls the air in from the bottom. Back of its loose, but 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 who knows? Looks like it might have been glued or something there. There's a black ring around that. But we'll take it apart and look at it later. But there we go. Nat Monarch Monarch automatic fin heater made by the Hoover Company. Okay, so we're back again here with the Nap Monarch heater. And as you can see, I've finally figured out how to take the thing apart. Not easy to do. 
uh, because the entire assembly comes out of the outside casing. Um, and this might be newer than I thought it was because it actually does have a tip over switch in it. Um, but I'm not sure. So another interesting thing is, um, that I was, when I was looking at it, I was like, you know what, this thing would be neat if it like glowed or something with it being all red inside. Well, it's got a light in it. So they already took care of that. They were reading my mind. Um, but I have another light bulb I'm going to put in it that I kind of borrowed out of my oven. And we'll get it cleaned up and get the motor oiled. Little, tiny little motor on here. Of course, it just runs a fan, so it's not going to be needing that big of a motor. And the speed control to turn the motor down is just a resistor and to turn it on to high heat or low heat normally it's just the upper element running put it on high heat it turns the lower element on as well and I'm not sure if these are both the same wattage elements I have no way of telling um, I could do a resistance check on them, but that really wouldn't tell me anything as far as wattage goes. So we're going to get it cleaned up, and we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so again, we're back with the NAP Monarch heater. And I got it all back together again. And one thing that I noticed about it is that the tip-over switch only cuts the power to the common side of the elements. It does not cut the power to the light or the fan. So if it tips over, the fan keeps on going, but the elements shut off, which is different. Normally it shuts the whole heat, shuts the whole heater down. So here, we'll turn it on. And as you see, the light comes on as soon as it's on and I adjusted the thermostat too. whether it actually works or not I don't know I haven't left it on yet long enough yet but there's two little tabs on the bottom here that pop out and you can adjust the um, thermostat with the screwdriver so here I'll motor's still pretty loud for the fan at least that's on low too too hi it makes quite a racket <laughs> And that's it, basically. I'm gonna set the camera down here for a second and run over and shut the light out. There we go. Different, that's for sure. There we go. Now, Monarch automatic fin heater manufactured by the Hoover Company. 